is up YouTube program five here welcome back to another video here on the channel today's video is gonna be the second upload of the day um, I was thinking about if I was gonna post this today or wait but I decided to post today because it's probably gonna be a short video but today Rockstar Games put out a tweet on July 20th automotive underground rollers to life with the GT Online lost to their students featuring the LS car meet where you can race show off your customized vehicles and link up with contacts looking for skilled drivers and a chance at easy money so this video we're gonna be breaking down the 30 uh, second trailer that they released and going over the newswire post that they post as well so if you guys do enjoy this video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe follow me on all social media those will be down screen below. That's where I post every time I go live or upload a video. And let's get right into the video. So if you guys haven't seen the 30 second trailer, I'm going to go ahead, play it, and then break it down. Welcome to the LS Car Meet. Don't play that this ball. We got the fastest cars, trucks, bikes, and all of it. The only thing we don't got is beef. You look familiar. I know you from somewhere. I just got one on faces. Don't even worry about it. All the time down the slide by with a pretty freak by my side. By my side. Yeah. With a pretty freak by my side. All right, so let's break down this trailer. It's already 30 seconds, so there's probably not going to be a lot in here. I muted it. I'm going to slow. Okay. So we see right here, this is um on Los Santos Flats area. This is probably going to be the warehouse to where the underground little street thing uh, meetup is. You can see a lot of cars. Um, I can't tell if these are any new cars or anything, but there could probably be. There's probably um, some new cars down there on the road, and we get another close up some cars here of a guy walking. It's probably maybe this might be a cutscene, or this just might be a you know blended shot. And we see one of the characters. Not sure who it is, but she. I think she's gonna be the introduction, as long as with the other guy that you see here that basically gets us into the racing scene and the tuna life, everything like that. And you see he's talking. The talk and interest and that stuff. And you can see a bunch of cars that if you... There's probably a couple new ones down in here. So this is probably just how the area is going to look. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of cars. Probably maybe locals. You know, just random local pe people. And as well as online regular playing people. You can see this is the track that I um, want to go over in the Newswire post. But this is the track where you can train. I'm guessing drifting and racing and, you know, trying your car out on track see the little drifting there you see that there's going to be a cage here so people can watch you um, drive your car around on the track you see um oh you saw a truck there um i think this truck's already in the game but it just probably gives you probably just has a little bit more customizable options see there's bikes so there's probably gonna be new bikes or this car right here looks like it's new if it's not a new car it's probably a body kit because you can see the tires here they're bending out a little bit so this is probably a drift car right here see so a couple more shots of cars but some new cars this probably a new car as well and the hood so you'll be able to lift your hood up and basically inspect uh what's under people's hood um him also he's got he's also one of the characters going to be introducing us into the racing scene so it looks like him and the female are just going to be basically introducing us and getting everything into it and he says here that one thing we don't have is beef so maybe with this uh tuna dlc that we're going to be starting beef with people maybe boosting cars and stuff like that you can see someone take a step with the car. You can see more shots of the inside here on from the other side. You can see it goes way back here and uh, maybe a case off area taking pictures of cars and everything. So there'll be there's gonna be a, a cool um, shots that people will be putting out. There's probably a new car. Looks like maybe us racing, getting ready for a race. And you can see um, him talking to this guy. I forget who what this guy's name is, but I'm pretty sure he was in the Caprico in like one of the cutscenes. Um, at the beginning when we're flying, yeah, I'm pretty sure he comes, but, you know, they dip, so I forget his name, um, just put it down in the comment section, um, if you know it, um, let's get off here, they're just talking, and here we go, we get GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto Online, Los Santos Tunas DLC, July 20th, that's when it comes out, I'm, I've been waiting for an update, so is this all that is in the trailer, it's all that's in the trailer, so let's get down to the Newswire post and uh, break it down, uh, go over it. Alright everyone, here we are, the Newswire post, Los Santos Tuners coming July 20th, join the Automotive Underground in the latest retail online update, July 15, 2021. On July 20th, Underground Tuna scene in Los Santos roars to life with the launch of the GTA Online Los Santos Tuners, in addition to a ton of action-packed tuner-based missions and races, this update chooses the LS car meet, a uh, graffiti shared social space where you and your um, cherished personal vehicle can mingle free with the fellow car fans to race show off your customized vehicles and link up with shady contacts looking for skilled drivers and a chance to easy money 
So obviously this is the building that we saw the first part of the trailer that you can go into. This is basically going to be the car meet area. And maybe um, there's going to be some jobs you can do, maybe like racing jobs or like just for like driving jobs in general. You can see a bunch of new cars here in the background. The Ellis car meet. To get started, you need to visit a non-scripted graffiti bro house on the edge of town in Cypress Cypher Slats. Yep, that's what I said earlier. Listen close and the sound of engines revving might give it away. Oh, look to the makeshift finish line on the road outside. In outside, inside the Ellis car meet as a good vibes only. Policy making... And a great place to skip the attention of the law and any small town chumps looking to terrorize the city of great, greater Los Santos. So maybe, like, obviously there's going to be no briefing or anything here, so it's just going to be straight up car, um, no car meets in there. Park your, uh, attitude and your weaponized vehicles at the door, right there, unweaponized, so there'll be no weaponized vehicles, you have to go in. And share your love of car culture with some like-minded personalities. Here you'll find countless ways to immerse yourself in the beating heart of the scene, show off prized vehicles from your collection, or check out everybody else's. That's pretty cool. This is a new shot. Maybe I think new cars here. It's probably all new cars or body kits of cars. The LS Car and Meet membership. To unlock, you'll need to start. You'll unlock a repetition progression with new benefits unlocking after each level. So it's probably like a progression level. And, you know, after every progression, you get something. Um, you'll get access to the test track. That's what I showed earlier with people racing on the track. A large underground space inside the car meet warehouse where you and your friends can drive, drift, and race vehicles freely without interference from pesky pedestrians or the law. That's pretty cool. You can just practice your driving. You can also sample new test rides in the test track. You can uh, get a chance to get behind the wheel of a roading selection of vehicles and push the limits. So there's probably one thing of this is say you want to buy one of the new cars, but you don't you want to see how it tries first, how it you know drives or anything. You, they'll probably have it, and you could probably test drive it. Members will also get to complete in the roading uh, prize ride challenges. So new challenges. For the opportunity to win a special uh, prize ride and get access to a range of special shops and features. So I'm guessing if you win this challenge, you get a free ride and probably upgrades and stuff for it. Including the merch shop, tattoo shop, and uh, modding area. So there's going to be new stuff in the tattoo shop or new tattoo shop probably in there. As well as a clothing store and a modding area for a pipe for your car. Where you can show off your customized pro prowess to other players in real time as you work your stands. Stand, build, higher level membership can also create a private takeover and completely complete with customizable lightning and banner colors to decorate the car and meet space to your taste. So you probably get a specific space to your car and you could probably upgrade that area, you know, with lights and everything. And as it says here, dropping GTA Online 50000 to become an LS Car and Meet member will get you even more privilege. So is that $50,000 to get the membership? That's pretty a lot. Here's a new shot of car here, the cars. New races. Let's say there's two nice entries of new races inside and outside the car. Meet each with their own leaderboards. On the test track, you can engage in friendly competitions like head to head, where speed and progression or precision will give the necessary advantage to best your opponent in a short format race. And scramble where up to four uh, players race to collect 20 checkpoints. Time trials around the tr uh, test track give you the chance to put your vehicle through the paces and score your own personal record. Up to 30 players will share the track space with you. But contact will be disabled while competing, and members can only go in private test tracks solo. At the test track and throughout the city, there are also new races series. Remember, street race series and pursuit series. So there's going to be new series of races, probably like, you know, regular street races and pursuit series. I'm guessing is where you're getting chased by cops, it sounds like. And also you could do um, test track with players in different fun game modes in that track. The street race series delivers what exactly says on the uh, can. Bruising competition on creative tracks built on the streets of Los Santos, so basically regular street racing. Most um, scenic neighborhoods complete with shortcuts that are much about risk as they are reward. Scenic. The scenic. The Pursuit Series offers drivers a more open-ended experience with checkpoints placed uh, sparsely um, throughout the map to encourage creative routes. Sparsely. I'm, I'm saying all these words wrong. After all, you'll be competing against your fellow racers as well as having LSPD's finest on you. So that sounds fun. So not only are you going to be racing other players, but you're going to have police officers officers i'm guessing it's probably going to be where let's say a thir uh, it's 20 player lobby 10 of them will be racers 10 of them will be cops i'm guessing maybe something like that meanwhile sprint offers a point-to-point -point challenge in free mode with up to three other drivers and a breakneck race from the ls car meet out to various locations like ls ia and back all right another screenshot here earning rep so there's going to be a rep system in the underground world of the uh, car meet repetition is a valuable com uh, commodity. Each rep by earn rep by participating in and winning races, daily log and bonuses, putting in time on the test track, and even just hanging out on the, uh, the car meet. Earning rep gets you a sort of rewards, elevate your status in the scene. These include unlocking access to access to all sorts of fashionable gear, plus new car customizable options like new wheels and libraries, as well as the trade prices of certain vehicles. Access to new race 
race mods, and even the ability to hold your own private car meet. Okay, so more rep you get, like, you know, more stuff you do, the more rep it goes up, you get new stuff. Like, you know, more gear probably for your character, car customizationable stuff, like liveries and stuff, obviously, like it says. And so trade price, so you'll probably be able to buy the vehicle outright, probably like for a million dollars. But if you get your rev system up and then buy the car later, it's probably going to be half price. You know, those prices, I'm just guessing out there, but that's probably what it means. Like, you know, the more stuff you do the uh, for the cars, you know, the less price goes down. It says in the underground world of customized car um, enthusiasts, repetition and street cred are valuable commodities. Okay, here's another view here. And we got a picture of one of the new cars. It's Karen Calico GT. F looks, oh man, it looks pretty good. The color shade, the color scheme, purple and the green. <clears throat> and naturally, this update GT Online will inject. Naturally, this update to GT Online will inject a whole new assembly of fresh vehicle inventory across Los Santos dealerships, ranging from imported tuna cars from Anis, Dinka, uh, Ubermatch, and more. That's straight up a rapid muscle that Americans have come to know and love. There will be 17 new vehicles, so 17 new vehicles in total over the course of the summer. With 10 dropping at launch. Okay, so 17 new vehicles will get 10 out of drop and we're gonna get 7 drip feeded. Plus, GTA Online, when GTA launches on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S latest year, select vehicles will be upgradable with all new speed and permits and more. These special upgrades will, will be available on only on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S. So, if you guys have the new consoles and you get that GTA 5 when it comes out, you're basically gonna get upgradable stuff to your car that no one else will be able to get. Now, the screenshot here of someone taking a picture of a car, Los Santos Community, Los Santos Community Meetup. Playing GTA Online from now until la the launch of the Los Angeles Tunas will give you opportunity to earn sp some special rewards. Just meet up by uh, playing GTA Online anytime between now and launch get Los Santos Customs T and participate in any product or race, accessible via the interaction menu to receive Los Santos store jacket. So the one in the new jacket right here. I'm playing earn special rewards. Stealing and successfully selling a vehicle to other customs and free mode also earn you Los Santos Customs co uh, coveralls perfect for your Anna Grease Monkey. Um, claim your rewards by playing on Santos Tuners on or after G uh, July 20th. You items will be land in your wardrobe. 72 is not belonging to July 23rd. So, so there's stuff you could do right now to get new outfits. So, stealing a car and selling to Alice Customs, doing it on a product to race, and just by playing GTA Online, you will be able to just get these new out uh, these new clothing items. And more, stay tuned for more details on the Santa Studios at the Newswire next week. Specifically, a look at contracts for new robberies where you put in driving skills to ultimate test alongside a familiar safe from the music locker. All right, so um, if you guys want me to cover that when that comes out, um, just kind of let me down in the comment section below of, of, you know, when all that comes out, the new contracts and everything like that. And I'm, maybe they'll drop another trailer as well because this trailer was only in 30 seconds. So maybe they'll drop another trailer between now and July 20th. But this is basically all the information we got right now for the Los Santos Tuners DLC and GTA 5 online. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on all the social medias. Those will be now in the description below. That's where I post every time I go live or I upload a video. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace out.